Hey guys, today I'm doing a video for you guys and OMG, I totally came up with this idea in my last video, which I don't know if I put it on this channel, but I was planning to put it up on this channel, which is like a lazy discussion video. Yeah. I love discussion videos so much. I, just, I pretty much made a list of sucky love situations. Um, if you can find or think of a better title than this, because probably this is going to be the actual title, tell me and I'll totally change the title because I don't, can't really think one, so yes. So number one, this is in no particular order at all, is the friend zone. Let's face it, that sucks, being in friend zone, especially because this video about sucky things. But yeah, the idea that you, you, you like, like someone, but they don't like you back and you only see your friend, and and eh, it happens, but it's like, oh, it sucks. I don't know what to say about it, it just sucks. And I was gonna do a whole like blood discussion video on that, but I don't know. So if, eh, don't know. Okay, so I don't know what to say about it. Number two, unrequited love slash one sided, like when. It sounds really stupid, but like it does. It's kind of like different zone. They're kind of similar, but it's kind of different because you can be in a relationship with this person and like you could be dating your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. But the idea of this is that one person definitely cares about the other person more. This idea of like like you can be in a relationship and they don't give a fuck, and you you give a fuck and like. I'm totally love and they you really care and blah 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 and it just doesn't like you're just there and it's like uh like they give you the attention they care about you but they also don't care about you that is a sucky situation to be in guys like I don't recommend it which I don't recommend any of these but I think that's one of the worst um because you have the person and you just can't really have them and that sucks that really sucks um, number three, um, the unreachable crush slash love, um, this idea of being in love with a YouTuber or a Facebook or Instagram or Vine or I don't know, you can totally pick, you know, celebrity, you can totally pick your choice because, you know, all this technology, you can also, you know, and you like see them and you want them, I guess, because of what you think they are, typically this is like a crush for you think they're some kind of person and you don't really know them so you can't really judge them in like a personal level but you totally have this thing for someone you know you can never get so it's the unreachable person uh, maybe you'll meet them one day you know maybe you'll take a picture with them maybe you'll talk to them but the idea of you actually meeting them and getting married is super absurd and let's face it every person at one point has been there or you both like each other but won't do anything about it. That also it's kind of like it can be solved so easily. And I feel like in these situations, everyone around you knows that you guys like you know you like each other. But the two parties aren't willing to admit this. And it's typically when it's too late and eh, when people actually are like, yeah, I like you, you, I like you. Oh okay, it was 20 years ago and this doesn't even matter anymore. Because, you know, mm, typically I feel like this happens in rom-coms and just television shows with best friends where they end up falling in love with each other, they don't realize this and then all of a sudden they like each other but they don't know that they like each other but they, they totally do like each other and they do these things that, and it should be completely obvious but it's not obvious to them, it's obvious to everyone else. Did I just go back in the circle? I think I did. But, if this one came from a song I was listening to, it's a Carly Rae Jepsen song, and it's Last Kiss, or This Kiss, This Kiss, um, and it's this whole idea of liking someone, like really wanting to be with someone and liking someone, but you're in a relationship and they're in a relationship, or just one of you guys are in a relationship, this can obviously vary, things vary, and that, eh, now that sucks too, because it's like, I don't know, I think with relationships though, personally, this is how I feel. If you're not happy in your relationship, if you don't want to be in a relationship, you don't have to. You can totally leave. That's my thing. Like, if this is getting too hard, if you don't like this, then just tell me in the beginning. Don't string this whole thing along. Because if you do, it just gets worse and your emotions get more tied up. And it's like, you know what? If you just tell me what's going on in the beginning, it's so much simpler, it's so much easier, and you just, it's just simpler. 
it's easier. Um, yeah. So that was kind of my five secular things, situations for me. I just, meh. Cause you know, obviously I can't talk about happy, good love because I'm not that kind of person. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I don't know. Maybe next time I'll do it more skit styled in a way where it's like cooler. Cause I know a lot of YouTubers who do it really cool and I just don't have the resources for that right now. Or the time. But yeah, I totally did it like super I. <laughs> Said I was the most exotic flower